Hey horror fans, and welcome back to October Horror Fest. Today we are going to discuss Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Halloween 4 is a well-liked sequel, which the movie's writer only had 11 days to make this script due to the 1988 writer's strike. The film does not feature Jamie Lee Curtis because she had moved on from horror films at that time. The film was made on a budget of $5 million and managed to make $17,768,000 at the box office. The film starts with Michael Myers who has been in a coma for 10 years, being transported back to Smith Grove. Then he wakes up and hears he has a niece and attacks and kills the ambulance crew. We are introduced to Jamie Lloyd who is the daughter of Lori Strode who died and she has nightmares of Michael Myers. Dr. Loomis, who survived the explosion, finds out Michael was transferred without him knowing about it. And after examining the crash site, follows Michael to Hannonfield and has an altercation with Michael, and Michael gets away. And Loomis finally manages to get a ride. Jamie has a close call with Michael, and Loomis arrives and tells the local police about Michael. And Loomis and the sheriff head out to find Jamie. Rachel takes Jamie trick-or-treating, who is Jamie's stepsister, and discovers her boyfriend's cheating on her. Michael stalks Jamie and Rachel, who got separated, and after they're reunited, Loomis and Sheriff Meeker see them and gets a shock when three Michaels appear, though it was a prank. And they head to the station and we see Michael. Loomis and the Sheriff discover Michael was already there and all of the officers are dead. They head to his house and a deputy accidentally brings Michael to them. They arrive and interrupt the two lovers. They board up the house not knowing Michael's already inside. They contact the state police who will be there as soon as possible. Loomis leaves to try and stop Michael and the sheriff leaves to deal with a lynch mob. Michael kills the deputy and the sheriff's daughter by stabbing a gun through her. Michael kills Brady in a struggle and a big chase happens on the roof and Jamie gets down but Rachel falls and is unconscious and Michael who got down surprisingly quick chases her and Loomis and her head into the school and Michael throws Loomis through a door and the mask he is wearing is the same type in the original film but they couldn't make it look right so they went with another one. Rachel saves Jamie and a bunch of guys arrive and they head out of town and after talking to the state police, head for a patrol station but Michael comes up from under the truck and kills the guys, then the driver. And Rachel takes over and after a battle gets Michael off the truck and runs him down. The police arrive and Jamie gets away from Michael and the police shoot into Michael like there's no tomorrow and he falls into a mine shaft and debris falls on him burying him. Back at the house Jamie becomes evil and attacks her stepmother and hearing the scream Loomis in horror yells no and tries to shoot her but is stopped and everyone looks in horror as the film ends with Jamie holding the scissors. The film was a good sequel and successfully revived the Halloween series on its 10th anniversary. It might not have had Jamie Lee Curtis, but the late Donald Pleasant was back giving it his all. And we had a new band of excellent actors to enjoy as well as a fresh, enjoyable, good story. Which makes Halloween 4 a great success and enjoyable film. I encourage every Halloween and horror fan to check out Halloween 4. You will definitely enjoy it. Please tune in tomorrow as I discuss Halloween Pie, The Revenge of Michael Myers. This is the Entertainment Wizard, signing off.